Yo, what's going on, my prophets? Here we are back at it again, uh, running through a video tutorial on a question that I get asked quite a bit, and that's where do I store my cryptocurrency, right? So, you know, people always ask me, is Coinbase cool or or whatnot, or they like the paper wallet, but it's not convenient. So a happy medium, I think, is uh, obviously cold storage is always going to be the best. So let's just start with that. So if you get a Ledger Nano or um, Keep Key or whatever it is, that's going to be your best solution to actually storing your cryptocurrency. And then obviously from there we go into um, apps and wallets such as Exodos and stuff like that. I prefer Jax. If you see up here we look at and the address is literally jaxx.io I'll put a link down below um, and this is the wallet that I found success for uh, that I've had success with and the reason I like it is uh, a couple of reasons one is you actually own your private keys which is I think key and cryptocurrency um, I always tell people yeah if you have a, a lock in your house for the door you want to use it right you don't just sleep with your door unlocked because anyone can come in or you don't just give your key out randomly so this having your private key is always going to be uh, one of the best things so let's go ahead and run up with it and I'll go through some of the features and the reason I like it so uh, find whatever uh, device or uh, operating system works for you um, I use it for Chrome so just add to Chrome Yes, add to extensions. It's that easy. It downloads. Install it. All right. So now you can see it over here in our. Let me just go back real quick. So, just as so you guys see. So now it's going to be over here in our right-hand corner. You click on it. It should open up it's gonna give you a couple of rules obviously they're always updating it which is cool and they're trying to fix bugs that we have um, one of the things we're gonna do because this is a video I'm just gonna start a new wallet so it's gonna you know if you want to run through all these things but you can actually pair it or restore the wallet in case your computer crashes or your phone crashes you can actually restore it which is a really really cool feature and I'll run through that real quick uh, once we get going so we're going to create a wallet. We're going to do an express. And these are the coins actually that are on here. So we have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Classic, Litecoin, Dash. You know, we have a couple of good solid coins that we might not want to hold super long term, but we do not want them on the exchange that can get hacked because we've seen it happen. So these are just some of the coins that are on here. Uh, we'll just set it up real quick just so you see how it runs. I'm going to put... Um, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, which I think is the top three that usually people have. You know, we'll say MCO, and I'm just putting coins just so I can show you the different uh, approach. On so now, it take me to my wallet, and perfect. Now we're up here. You get to choose whatever coin you're up, and up here in the right hand corner when you see it. So. And this is basically what it looks like on your phone, which is pretty cool. It's not a different interface and gets all confusing. So the first time you click on the wallet, it's going to say initializing. So we should have that saying. Um, MCO, see, so initialize, uh, wallet initialized. So now you're ready to go. Your wallet's always right here. Your, your address, sorry, not your wallet. Your address, you can obviously just always it tells you it's actually clipped to your clipboard so then you can copy and paste show you real quick and that would be my address right so bring it back up and it, it, it logs your transactions down here which is pretty cool and you can see um, real time this is one of the key features that I personally like so say you have uh, Ethereum and you want to uh, make it into Bitcoin or say you have Bitcoin and you don't want to go into your exchange and wait for it to go through but you want salt just click on the little uh, shapeshift button 
and then it's gonna say Bitcoin to what so I want to convert it into salt so all I do is that and I can either do it by Bitcoin amount or dollar amount and whatever money amount of money obviously there's a new wallet and I don't have anything it tells you your transfer rate so for uh, one Bitcoin you get 214 salt um, so it's pretty cool you know it tells you your updates let's go real quick so say I want to do edge list it's gonna give me 11,987 for one Bitcoin um, you have minimums and maximum deposits that you could do and you could do multiple transactions if for some reason you're transferring that much um, so let's get into the safety features um, we have the tools so you back up your wallet right and view backup phrase that's what you want to do and write these words down what I usually do is do a um, I'll show you real quick so yeah I understand so it pretty much tells you don't share this with people but for whatever reason oop, there it is I understand key phrase I don't know why it's not letting me just go back you gotta love technology right so once again we'll go into tools view by four three so you could do a QR code um, sometimes take a screenshot of it and save it onto a file uh, this is your key phrase it's 12 words make sure you write them down sometimes write them down on a piece of paper or write them down in a note text um, yeah we do I'm just going to show you real quick folder and then inside here I'll just go ahead and put new text document open that up and just start typing these words in you know so you get the point right and I'll just save these uh, yeah I want to save it so now it's on here if I need them it's on your desktop right, whatever folder you have it and that would be your key phrase in case you want to back it up uh, please keep this on the USB drive don't keep it on your computer because if you lose your computer people are gonna have these access codes which is really important if you put it on the flash drive make sure you have an encrypted flash drive hard drive everything alright so that's the way to back up your uh, your wallet once you have that thing and the other one you want to have is a screenshot or whatnot is your private keys and that's how you get into your keys right so all these big coins are gonna have uh, their private keys so your Bitcoin here it is this is your you know private key your public key and same thing I, I always just keep them on a folder um, so this is the key you can always hand out to people and this is a dynamic wallet so it's always changing uh, your address so it's pretty cool in that aspect that uh, every time you do a transaction people don't get the same wallet so it's a little harder to track you when you're sending funds um, now the other feature would be if you want a pair of device such as a phone or a tablet you download the app on your device and then you go to uh, Per wallet and though that key phrase that you use the 12 words it's gonna say okay I understand that whatever if you pair a new wallet you're gonna lose whatever you have on here you enter the key phrase and then you push enter and it pairs it to whatever wallet you already have installed um, any other cool stuff they're pretty good about responding to emails I've had issues with it um, and they do go back in there like I and mean, later on if you want to come in here and remove some of these because you just don't want to watch them that's fine and then you're only gonna have you know three or one or you know it's up to you how many it, it, your coin doesn't go away it's just up there in the wallet uh, it's it's not gonna be showing it all the time uh, currency see so 
it just tells you how much per Bitcoin what it's at so you know I hope this helps uh, if anything just go ahead and drop down a comment I'll put some links we have a website coming uh, pretty much already up if you want to join our mastermind group go ahead and uh, go through the website or drop us a comment uh, check us out on Facebook Instagram and we just got our Twitter going up we'll be doing more tutorial videos like this to help you guys out hope this helps thank you very much profit for all your guys support and love man uh, I'll be doing more stuff like this peace out